Hello people of the world, it is LEGO Machine X here, and today I am back with a new purest custom LEGO minifigure showcase. Today I am finally showing my figures from the Harley Quinn TV series. Season 3 was really good, it was incredibly funny as always, and had a lot of really great character development for pretty much every character, it was a really enjoyable watch. All these figures are entirely purist, except for two parts that I'll talk about later, and I am so excited to finally be showcasing them after pretty much over a year of having them done. I've been busy, okay? Quick side note, this show is definitely not for kids, it's a, it's a TVMA show, just, just to let you know. That rhymes. Make sure to stick again so you can see upcoming customs, and yeah. Let's just get right into it with the first custom we got, Harley Quinn. This figure uses the Series 15 CMF Babysitter hairpiece, the 2016 Harley Quinn face, the Lego Batman movie Harley Quinn torso and legs, white arms, black and red hands, as you can see, and a baseball bat from the Make a Minifigure station at the Lego store. The next figure we got is Poison Ivy, who has to be one of my two favorites from this video. Tell me down below which one you like the most after I show them all. Ivy uses the 2012 Poison Ivy hairpiece, the 2016 She-Hulk face, a dark green professor torso from Harry Potter, the series 14 plant monster costume legs, lime green hands, and two green plant vines. Next up we got the greatest supervillain of all time, Kite Man. Hell yeah. This figure uses the 2016 Ninjago flintlock helmet, not from the Lighthouse Siege, that was technically a different one, the Luke Skywalker pilot face with an orange visor, the dark green 2016 Ninjago Flintlock Epaulettes, which you know is spelled with an AU, I don't know why, it just is. The Toy Story 3 Twitch Torso, yes, I actually got a second one, separate from my Just a Good figure. A Nougat Hit Piece, Lime Green Legs, and Nougat Hands. The kite build was made out of a clear neck bracket, two dark green 2x4 wing pieces, one left and one right, a light bluish gray 2x1 piece with 4x1 attachments on the side, as you can see, two dark green 2x1 sloped bricks, and a dark green 2x1 half tent kind of brick. Moving on to Dr. Psycho, I used the 2018 Harry Potter hairpiece, shout out to Frodo for helping me with that, and a bunch of other parts editions. a Prince of Persia villain face, the Abraham Lincoln suit torso, black short legs, light nougat hands, and the purple printed dish piece from Nero from the 2017 Ninjago Bricktober pack, as well as a clear hand attachment piece. Also, if you've enjoyed this so far, make sure to like this video to let me, and YouTube, know that you want to see more content like this. Now, moving on to one of the two customs that is slightly non-purist, King Shark has got to be one of my favorite figures that I made, probably my favorite figure, that I made for this video. The parts I used were the Orca Head from the Lego Bound Movie CMF Series 1, the Lego Ninja Movie Garmadon Shark Soldier helmet, but with the air tank, cut off with scissors, be careful with scissors by the way, a blue torso that I found on Bricklink, which just worked perfectly because it's like a blue jacket like King Shark, but also has a maroon sweater underneath, and has an anchor on it, as well as maroon legs and dark bluish gray hands. Now, moving on to Billy Bob Thornton himself, Clarfarce uses the Lord of the Rings, I'm pretty sure, head that I erased certain details off with a pencil eraser, a Korg headpiece that I ordered from Bricks and Pieces and painted, this is actually way before it was even like in many sets, the pieces literally just came out in the Thor's new Asgard set and it just happened to be on Bricks and Pieces, so I ordered like three of them back in the day. That's the only other non pierced part in the showcase. And also I used the Lion Torso from the Wizard of Oz, flipped backwards, from the Lego Movie 2 CMF series, as well as Nougat Legs. And finally, we have got everyone's favorite big mouth anthropomorphic plant, Frank. He uses the Series 14 plant costume and headpiece, a black head, that's pretty, pretty much it, a blue lightsaber blade actually that holds the cylinders together, uh, three maroon 1x1 cylindrical bricks, one reddish brown 2x2 two two circular tile with a hole in the middle, as you can see it's, it's right here, I haven't turned my fingers yet, and a reddish brown basket piece. And that's pretty much it for all eight of my Harley Quinn TV show customs, for now. Upcoming Harley Quinn customs include my painted and sculpted bar custom that uses a Nexon Knight's axle torso piece for the base, a cyborgman. This guy would have been included in the showcase originally, but I still haven't bought the headpiece I wanted to use for him or another cyborg arm off of Bricklink yet. <laughs> that was actually the initial reason I delayed the showcase for so long a year ago. And finally, for the Harley Quinn TV show customs, we have a very recent whip, Ultimate Ivy, or basically her new appearance, which is actually shown in the trailer for season 3, so you can't sue me. Started this custom a few days ago, and I am really proud of how the hairpiece that I'll be 3D printing turned out, and the torso decal I made. Anyways, if you really like mature superhero shows, make sure to stay tuned for my Soldier Boy custom showcase from The Boys Season 3, which will be coming very soon. Honestly, like I've been procrastinating for so long. And if you're watching this before then, check out my other The Boys custom showcases right here. Also, finally, I wanted to say that all these designs were thought of on my own, or with help from Farewell or Nightbreaks or some other my friends and the OS dressers. 
I am aware that the Moose Figs has actually made some Harley Quinn Pierce customs that use some pretty similar parts, but I had already finished my designs long before I even realized we'd use some similar pieces a while back. I mean, I guess that's what you get with Pierce customs. Find a number of visual parts combinations you can do. Anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. LIGO Machine X out, and bye!